noise this is a very big question and uh, they have given two images for us so first let us see those two images and so that we'll get to know regarding what the question they have given this is one renal biopsy they have given and this is one immunofluorescent image so they are more often uh, talking about the renal disorders and other glomerular nephritis in concrete exams these are only the main topics they keep on asking questions on those same topics only okay which subtype of the disease does this fall okay they have asked it the subtype of one particular diagnosis okay what are the features um what are the features now when a patient 45 year old male comes to opd complains of decreased urine output blood in the urine swelling of the face and extremities since one week he says that he had similar history of two years back following a throat infection for which he was treated and his bp was he has increased blood pressure with increased serum creatinine and blood urea levels also the first thing we need to know is as soon as you see this image i will get one key point being these crescent like deposits in the glomerulus okay this crescent like deposits where we see it's mainly rpgn so in rpgn there are three subtypes mainly type 1 2 3 in first type there will be linear deposits which is mainly due to anti gbm antibodies present so there they will give the history of more of good pasteur syndrome but here it's not the thing in type 2 it is mainly immune complex mediated in the question they have given as the clue of throat infection yeah here the clue of throat infection is given and later he was treated by even antibiotics so it's they have given the diagnosis of psgn that is post streptococcal glomerular nephritis so this is mainly immune complex mediated and to confirm this they have given the immunofluorescent image also see these are all the granular deposits seen isn't it so these granular deposits Uh, is in type two immuno type two RPGN. In type three, there are no deposits in the immunofluorescence. So, in this question, the answer will be type two RPGN. Okay, yes. See, these are the linear deposits we see in good Pasteur syndrome. This is anti due to the deposition of anti GBM antibodies. These are granular deposits seen in type two RPGN. Granular deposits, which is mainly immune complex mediated. And type two, there will be negative immunofluorescence seen. 